Today, we're going to talk about three ways to get clear on your priorities in your coaching business. Why is this important? It is so important because clarity is the beginning of allowing you to create momentum in your business. If you don't have it, you're probably stagnant or stuck. In fact, here are four ways to know if you're not really clear. First, you probably don't have many very clear business objectives that you're actively going towards, so goals. Two, you may find yourself in a lot of busy work but not really getting in anything of priority done. Three, you may find yourself often wondering what really should I be working on right now? And four, you aren't really getting any results right now or maybe just results that are nowhere near what you know your potential is. Those are four ways you know that you're not really clear. And if that's the case, don't worry, because now here are three ways to get yourself super clear. The first thing you want to do is get clear on your values. What is most important to you? This is really, really important because we want to make sure that the actions and decisions you make in your business are in alignment with the values that you hold. So if you really value your health, you don't want to give up your workout time or um, cooking or whatever it is that you do for your health in spite to get a business goal to happen. You want to make sure that everything's in alignment. So get very clear on what matters to you and what your priorities are. The second thing that you can do to get really clear is to let go of outside perceived expectation. Let me explain. We have an industry that has a lot of shiny objects. It also has a lot of have a six figure launch, your first seven figure year, and lots of other wonderful shiny object promises. And let's not get started on the amount of avenues that you can achieve those goals. But here's what's important and really interesting. Oftentimes we can get caught up in those shiny objects and think that we want them too. But you know, I've been working with coaches for five years now. Most of them that I've met don't actually want necessarily seven figure businesses. Now some do, yes, and some want eight, nine, and they are ready for the max. A lot of coaches, however, just want to make a great living, whatever that means to them, and really want to work one-on-one. -on -one. They don't necessarily want to have thousands of people at their event or um, have these huge online launches. Everyone is really different, but sometimes I think that when you are in the thick of it, it's easy to be swayed by the shiny objects and how fun it looks. But the reality is that if you want those kind of results, they come with a lot of work and focus over a longer period of time. Now there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. You just have to decide what really matters to you when it comes down to it? What does success look like for you? What does it mean to you? Maybe it means being able to pick your kids up at three o'clock at the, after the, at the school bus every day and you're done with your day. Maybe it means having your first live event with a thousand people there. Whatever it means for you, there's no right or wrong. Only what feels good to you. So the second step to getting clear is let go of perceived expectation, meaning what are you potentially projecting back on yourself because of all the shiny objects and you think, well, if she can do that, I can do that, or that looks really good or that. Come back home to yourself and ask yourself, 
what's really important. Do you really care about having this or that? So the third step is asking yourself, what do I really want? What do I really want right now? And whether you just want to have a full client of roster, a full roster of clients, or even just a couple, or you want a seven figure business, whatever that is for you, own that and figure it out by asking yourself, when you take all the shiny objects away, all the expectations of what you think other people think you should do, or maybe a mentor someone has told you, or what your partner or your kids or whatever, none of it matters. What only matters is what you want. So take a minute and ask yourself. Once you've done those three steps, you should be a lot clearer on what you want. Then all you have to do is work backwards from the end goal to where you are now and say, what needs to happen for me to take that road? If you'd like support with that, if you were looking for a business coach and advisor, well, I'm your girl. You can go to my coaching page to check it out and um, fill out the application form, book a discovery call to see if we're a match. Either way, make sure that you get clear because you are a catalyst for positive change on this planet and your future clients and customers are waiting for you to put yourself out there so they can find you and one day thank you for the work that you put into the world and for helping to be their catalyst for change. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.